I was doing my nail polish in my room when suddenly my boyfriend's head popped in from the window. Oh my goodness, what are you doing here? If dad sees you, we're both dead. Just forget everyone. As long as we're together, we're gonna be okay. Do you trust me? I do trust you, my love, but just let me love you and I will do everything to make you happy forever. I closed my eyes as he leaned in closer and closer. And cut. That's a wrap for today. Good job. But what about the kiss? Just then, Carson immediately let go of me and I fell on my butt. What the fudge? Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm a famous teen actress from LA. Please like and subscribe before I continue. Being paired up with Carson, the most popular teen actor right now, was finally my chance to have a successful movie. But unfortunately, getting closer to him was harder than I thought. After our scene, he went straight to his trailer to sanitize himself as if I had some disease. I asked the director why our kissing scene was cut, and he told me that Carson requested not to have any. But why? One of the staff leaked that information, and the news circulated online in no time. Unfortunately, it reached our school too, and this gave Dakota, a fellow actress, and my arch nemesis, another reason to pester me. Hey Amanda, I heard Carson doesn't want to kiss you. How does it feel to be rejected by him? Because I can't relate to that. Oh, that's because the last time he kissed someone on screen, he got traumatized. It was you, right? Suddenly, she burst out laughing. <laughs> oh, honey, everyone saw how much he loved our kiss. It was romantic and passionate, and that's why our movie became a huge hit with the box office of $2.786 billion worldwide. It also made me gain 10 million followers on Instagram, plus 5 million shippers on Twitter, and wow, okay, whatever. Why don't you just wait and see until my movie comes out? <laughs> we'll see about that then. And now, I felt even more challenged. Later that day while I was driving home, a delivery guy accidentally bumped his motorcycle against my trunk. Could this day get any worse? I walked out of my car to check the damage and was shocked to see a huge scratch. My poor baby, look what you've done to her. Are you blind or did my car suddenly turn invisible? I froze when the driver removed his helmet. He looked so beautiful. It's just a little scratch. I'm sure your baby won't die. A little scratch? You ruined her flawless skin. Just try putting one of your beauty creams on it. Do I look like someone you can joke with? He just shrugged his shoulders and left. Why was everyone so extra annoying today? When I got home, I immediately told my sister slash manager, Alice, about my problem with Carson. She was five years older than me and we'd been living together in a huge, fancy apartment for the past three years. I talked to his manager about it and he told me that Carson's not up for a fake relationship to promote his movie. And he just doesn't want kissing scenes all the time. Our movie will do 10 times better if people believe we're a couple in real life too, with real chemistry. But he won't even kiss me in the movie. What should I do? He's the bigger star here. You're the one who needs him, so why don't you try making him fall for you? It's gonna be easy. You're a goddess. Who would say no to you? She was right. I could get any boy I wanted, and Carson was not an exception. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Could you get it for me? I ordered pizza for the two of us. When I opened the door, I was shocked to see who the delivery boy was. It's you. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Hello? You just ruined my car a few minutes ago. Oh, the dramatic brat. I'm so sorry, but I don't have the time for a little chit chat right now. Dramatic brat? He then just left the pizza boxes and left. This guy was unbelievable. Just a few days later, I was in a coffee shop when I noticed some women squealing over a guy. My world stopped when I turned to see his face. It was the pizza boy again. I walked up to him and said, are you following me? Because this is not a freaking coincidence anymore. This is a serious case of stalking and I'm gonna report you to the police. Isn't it the other way around? I work here, so you're the one who's stalking me. Look, if you're a huge fan, just say so. No need to stalk me this way. I then took his phone and filled it with selfies and a video and gave him an autograph on a tissue paper. There, are you happy now? Being a brat doesn't give you permission to take other people's things without their consent. 
So open the dictionary and search for the word respect. Want me to spell it for you? And with that, he deleted all my selfies on his phone and crumpled the paper right in front of me. I was speechless. I swore if I saw him again, I'd make him cry. I told Alice about him and she just laughed at me. <laughs> Maybe it's fate. The way you always run into him? More like bad luck. Well, is he cute? I paused for a second and imagined his face. To be honest, he was actually very, very attractive. But ew, no, he looks like a dinosaur. Okay, if you say so. I partied with some A-listers later that night, and when I got home, it was already midnight. As I walked up to my room, I suddenly bumped into something hard. It was definitely not Alice's chest. When I looked up, I almost screamed. It was that jerk. What are you doing here? Duh, I freaking live here. What are you doing here? Did you break in? What? No, I'm your new houseboy. What? First you're a pizza boy, then a barista, and now a houseboy? There's no way you can do all these jobs at once. <laughs> oh, believe it or not, but uh, I'm actually good at everything. I then barged into Alice's room and yelled, of all the people, why did you hire that jerk? It was him I was talking about. Really? Fate is really something else. He also has hundreds of other jobs. We need someone who'll focus on us. Well, our offer is huge enough to make him quit all of his sidelines. He has an impressive resume, and I want to keep him. <laughs> Does his presence affect you that much? Duh, of course not. Wait a minute. It was actually a good idea. If he worked here, I could easily get back at him for being so rude to me. The very next day, I learned that his name was Ross, and I started making his life hell. One time, I told him to cook me beef with broccoli and cheese. There you go. Oh, the beef looks kind of raw. Could you cook it a bit more, please? Sure. When he came back, I decided to tease him even more. Oh, I forgot. This is cheese, right? I'm lactose intolerant. Sure, I'll remove it. It'll just be broccoli then. Oh, these little trees. Poor Mother Nature. Some people are just so cruel. Okay, I'll remove them too. Now, do you want to eat the plate or what? Just cook me another dish or maybe ah, just get me McDonald's. He looked like a volcano that was about to erupt and I was enjoying it. I continued giving him the hardest tasks for the next several days, but he was always able to do them well. One time, I told him to separate the sugar, coffee, and cream from a three-in-one coffee and make sure that my bubble baths have a 42 degrees Celsius temperature. And he did it perfectly. There was no way he was perfect. I had to find his weakness. It was the weekend and I took him shopping with me. I made him carry all the bags and run all of the errands and he silently did everything. Soon, I noticed how tired he looked and I felt like a brat. Are you hungry? Where do you want to eat? My treat? No thanks. I'll buy my own food using my hard-earned money rather than using your daddy's credit card. Just to be clear, my parents are billionaires, but I choose to live independently with my sister and use my own money for my acting jobs. I work hard too. I then ignored him and walked away. It was already nighttime when we were done, and while he was driving me home, I noticed an old woman selling some flowers on the street. I told him to stop the car and went out to buy all her flowers and gave her a huge tip. Suddenly, I noticed a familiar girl walking suspiciously on the side of the street. When I looked closer, I realized that it was Dakota. I told Ross to park the car somewhere and we both followed her. We walked to an alley and stopped in front of an exit door of a club. Suddenly, Carson stepped out of it and she immediately sprung on him. Ross and I hid behind a huge pile of boxes and peeked at them. Geez, I told you to stop stalking me. I'm not stalking you. I'm just following my heart. He pushed her away, but she started clinging to his leg like a pregnant snake. Date me, kiss me, love me, I'm begging you. I told you, I don't like you. But you kissed me and told me you loved me. Duh, we were acting back then. Let's make it real then. Oh my gosh, what a desperate witch. While I was taking a video of them, I suddenly tripped and fell on top of Ross. My world stopped as I gazed into his beautiful blue eyes. Dude, are you planning to move? You're heavy. Shh. I then got up and pretended that nothing had happened, but my heartbeat was in chaos. 
Now that I knew Carson wasn't into Dakota, I felt more confident about making him fall for me. So the next day during our filming, he was standing by the stairs and I let myself fall on purpose so he'd catch me. But to my surprise, another person caught me instead. You look so dumb doing that on purpose. Ross, what are you doing here? You forgot this. I also brought you lunch, just in case. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was actually sweet of him. Just then, Carson turned to us and he looked kind of <clears throat> mad. Haven't seen this dude around on set before. Is he your boyfriend, Amanda? N no, he's not. Wait a minute, was he jealous? Ross stepped in and said, I'm her houseboy, so don't worry, man. She's all yours. And with that, he just left. And I felt a bit annoyed at his indifference. But since then, Carson started treating me differently. He was talking to me more, and it gave a boost to our acting chemistry. Was he threatened by Ross? I knew it. No one could resist my charms. The next day at school, I was taking some notes from my locker when suddenly Dakota started talking loudly on her phone. Oh, hey, Carson. Oh, yes, I missed you too. Oh, you want to see my beautiful, perfect face later? Sure, I can't wait to see you too, my love. Just then, her minions started squealing like hyenas. <laughs> oh my god, so are you two like dating now? Well, he told me he missed working with me. He's probably bored with his current movie girlfriend. I wanted to laugh. If only she knew that I had a video of her desperation, but I didn't have plans of leaking it. I wasn't that kind of person. Later that day, Alice told me to invite Carson out for dinner. There will be lots of paparazzi in this restaurant tonight. You guys need to stage a kiss or something. Luckily, Carson agreed, and while we were eating, I pretended to be totally into him. I delicately wiped his lips with a napkin, and I laughed at everything he said. When we got out of the restaurant, I decided that it was time. I closed my eyes, pouted my lips, and leaned in. But to my surprise, he deliberately stepped aside, and I hit my forehead on the lamppost behind him. I looked so stupid as the paparazzi attacked me with their cameras. When I went home that night, I was really upset. Carson embarrassed me in front of everyone, and my career was over. I sat on the poolside and just cried my heart out. Soon, someone offered his hanky, and when I looked up, it was Ross. He sat beside me and just joined me in silence, and his presence was, was oddly comforting. You can talk to me, you know. I promise, I won't be rude this time. I just chuckled, and soon, I found myself ranting to him. I've been trying to make it big, but success seems to hate me. Every movie of mine for the past two years has been a flop. If this doesn't do well, I'm just gonna quit. And I need stupid Carson for this one to be successful. Maybe you don't. You're a very good actress, Amanda. Your talent is enough. Then why do my movies always flop? Success is not earned overnight. You're still young. Everyone has their own timing. Just. Continue doing your passion and your time will come soon. So cheer up. I just looked at him in awe. Why did he suddenly become even more attractive right now? <laughs> I know I'm handsome, but stop staring. It's freaking me out. I'm staring because I realized that you really look like a dinosaur. What? I gave him a teasing smile and left. The next day after school, I immediately looked for Ross, but Alice told me that he was in the hospital because his brother was sick. I went to see his brother, but when I got there, I was surprised to see him playing with a little boy and five little girls. What are you doing here? Alice told me you were here. You got me worried. Don't worry. My little brother is fine now. He just had a bad tummy ache. He then explained that he was the one who was raising all of his siblings for the past 10 years, and that's why he juggled jobs to send them all to school. I felt really bad for making work more difficult for him. To make up for it a bit, I invited all of them to go to the mall with me. I bought them new clothes and toys, and they looked so happy. I'm gonna pay you back, soon. Don't worry about it. I just then felt his hand on mine, and my heartbeat started racing. He then turned to me and started leaning closer. Big brother, we wanna play in the arcades. Ugh, why can't I get a legit kissing scene, even in real life? Ross then sat next to me as we watched the girls play. How do you manage all of these responsibilities? When you're passionate about something, everything else just becomes easier. You are indeed good at everything. Actually, there's this one thing that I'm not. 
What is it? It's falling in love. I'm just not capable of it. My mood instantly dropped. Was I catching feelings? I had to ignore them. But the more I tried, the more I thought about him. The next day, Carson surprised me with flowers and a teddy bear in my trailer. I'm so sorry, Amanda. I feel so bad for what happened. I was so stupid. Please, please forgive me. I understand that I'm not your type, but you don't need to act like you're allergic to me, you know? It's really insulting. I'm not allergic to you. In fact, you're totally my type. Only if, if I was straight. Wait, what? Did he just say that he was gay? Keep this our little secret, and I'll cooperate with you with the fake relationship. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal, bestie. Now that you're aware of it, mind matching me up with your cute houseboy? Excuse me? Relax, darling. He's really cute, but I don't have any plans of stealing him from you. Shut up, you're talking nonsense. If you say so. The next day, he visited our school without any notice, and the girls went wild, especially Dakota. I came here to see the most beautiful girl I have ever met. Oh, stop it, you're making me cry. Ew, not you, Dakota. I was talking about my movie and real life girlfriend, Amanda. He then winked at me and Dakota looked like she was gonna have a stroke. News of us dating immediately spread and I was ecstatic, but my happiness was instantly robbed when I went home. Alice gave me something that shook my world, Ross's resignation letter. But, but why? He told me that he was offered a cool job downtown and the pay was huge. He quit without even talking to me? I tried to call him, but he wasn't answering my calls. I used to see him everywhere, but now I couldn't find him anywhere. Oh, the irony. A few days later, Carson and I had an interview for our upcoming movie, and he was trying to hold my hand, but it felt really weird. Carson must have felt my sadness, and when we were asked if we were really dating, he said something really unexpected. Amanda and I are just friends. I really like her, and we tried it, but she likes someone else. Suddenly, I felt brave. Yes, it's true. And to that person, I just want to say, you know who you are, and I really miss you. Wherever you are, please see me tonight. I'll be waiting for you at my favorite park. Everyone gasped at my revelation. Even I was surprised at my public announcement, but I had to follow my heart. Alice told me that my interview created a huge buzz online, and I was being appreciated for my honesty, and they couldn't wait to see my movie. You did the right thing, girl. Now go get him! I was so nervous as I waited for him at the park later that night, but even after hours, there was no sign of him. I'd almost given up when suddenly, I saw him walking in the distance and my heart leapt. I ran up to him and punched him in the stomach. I hate you, do you know that? Uh, I'm sorry. Stop being cute and start explaining why you suddenly left. Uh, I, I just thought you liked Carson, so that's why I quit. It's you who I like, silly boy. But what can I do? You're not capable of loving anyone anyway. I lied. That's not my weakness. Then what is it? It's you, Amanda. I've been a fan even before I met you. You're so beautiful and amazing. And it's driving me crazy because I'm just this poor boy and you're an unreachable star. That was literally the sweetest thing that I had ever heard in my life. You're really cute. No. You're cuter. So are we just gonna keep arguing about this or are you gonna kiss me? He answered me by grabbing my face and pressing his lips against mine. Finally, I got a kissing scene and it was magical.